Hello YouTubers. As you can see, it's winter here up in Northern Ontario. It's a good time to do a video just talking about uh, what you can do to make your camper a better place to live. We do a lot of camping in the summer. Uh, we do travel in the, to the States in the winter as well. We uh, have modified our camper to make it more usable. So I'm going to share some tips that might uh, make your camping experience a little better. Some modifications we've done. Just, uh, just watch the video and you will see. One of the things we've done is modified our propane tanks. We only have now a single line going out to one propane tank at a time. This way we can use our other propane tank with our portable barbecue. If we run out of propane on the main tank here, we can just switch it over manually anyways. This setup's nice because we like to bring a portable barbecue and we do most of our barbecuing that way. And instead of using the small disposable cylinders, we're able to use our 20 pound tank and uh, conveniently use the propane. Another thing we've done is installed these portable solar lights. Now in this case I've just used some heavy duty Velcro to attach them. They're pretty secure once they're on. Uh, this provides light, free light really, solar powered light with a sensor built in so when we're barbecuing we have uh, light. We also have one at the front. This is a great location because we, when we get in and out of the camper, the light comes on automatically because it's solar powered. Uh, when it doesn't detect any motion, it acts as a moon lamp. So this lights up our front step. And again, it's secured by Velcro. And it provides a quick source of light without having to bring a flashlight. It's quite bright when it's on, it's LED. And it lasts all through the night. So we have no problem coming in and out of the camper and having a source of light. We've installed these small stick-on lights. They're battery powered. Uh, we've installed them by the bed so we don't have to climb out of bed and search for, for the light at night because we don't have a light switch right there. So these provide a source of light. They're very cheap to buy. They stick right on the wall and handy to have over the bed. A spice rack, another handy addition to have. They're hard to find nowadays, so if you're at a garage sale and you come across a spice rack, probably a good idea to buy it, and if you can find a nice location to hang it in your camper. This one's nice and secure, things can't bounce out. And another handy thing to have when you're traveling. Pictures make it seem more like home when you're on the road. This one that we've screwed right into the wall has handy little clips so you can switch the pictures out quickly when you want. It's nice and light, no glass to break, and just something that's nice to have when you're in your camper. I bought this car phone mount and modified it to stick on the wall of the camper right above the radio so I can put my iPod or phone in. It's adjustable and it keeps your, your music device out of the way while you're using Bluetooth. This is an indoor or outdoor thermometer, also nice to have when you're camping just to have an idea what the weather's going to be like for that day. Another must have item is a paper towel holder. It's hard to find a spot to locate one in this camper, but we've mounted it here right by the sink. Another must have item when you're on the road. Some people are fortunate to have a sink cover come with their camper. We didn't, so I, I built this one. So we have a lot extra of extra counter space when we're camping. In our shelves we have these rubbery mats. You can cut them to fit the size of your shelf and they keep everything from moving around when you're traveling. The gas burners in a camper are very small, so the heat is very centered in the center of a frying pan. If you're going to buy frying pans for your camper, don't skimp out. Get ones that have a big heavy base 
That way it distributes the heat better across the whole frying pan. Instead of having stuff just burn in the middle and be raw on the outside. This is the way to go. And don't forget to protect your frying pans when you're traveling with a cloth or something in between them. Or they'll scratch the surface of the non-stick coating. If you're using a generator as a source of power, you might find that you're exceeding the capacity of the generator. So what we've done is written the wattage of our appliances so we can do the math and figure out if we're exceeding the capacity of our generator or not so we don't trip the fuse. You can never have too many hooks. We have hooks for our coats and we have one right by the entrance of the door to hang keys on. If you're unfortunate enough to have mice, and that happens a lot if you're camping in the bush and you leave your camper there for any amount of time, you need mouse traps. What I like to do is set some mouse traps with raisins squished in them. I find that's the best. And I leave the trap unset because a lot of times we're not at our, at our camper and I don't want to come to the camper and smell a dead mouse. So we leave the traps unset but with raisins in them. If we come to the camper and we notice the raisins gone, then we notice we have mice. So then we can set the traps and instantly we seem to get mice come back to grab another raisin. One of the most important things you can have if you're spending any time away from civilization is a good first aid kit. Make sure you have one in your camper. A towel rack is another handy thing to have in a camper. We have this one hanging over the door of the washroom. We have memory foam over our mattress. As you can see, it's quite thick. That sure adds to comfort when you're sleeping. These support poles, which you can buy aftermarket, go in the fridge and stop things from sliding forward when you're traveling, so that when you open your fridge door, all your stuff doesn't just come flying out onto the floor. Storage totes with lids make getting items from under the dinette much easier. These handy lights have a magnet so you can stick them anywhere. If you're not getting enough light, just, just stick it on and there you go. Then you can turn it on and off. Pretty handy.